Wow, a big number. Multiplication. 4086 times 5. Wow. Can you do this one in your brain? Wow. Uh -oh. You know what? I have a trick. Okay, let's talk about something easier than this one first. What about 8 times 5? Oh, somebody can say, wow, I know this. That's right. You know this. I know this. So that's right, 40. Mm -hmm. But I have a different way, just like this one. How about the half of 8? What is the half of 8? Oh, man. That's right. What is the half of 8? That's 4. Then I add one zero right there. Ooh, that's why this one is 40. Exactly. Okay, so now, what about then 24 times 5? Oh, can you do this one in your brain? That's right. What is the half of 24? That's right. So the half of this one. So 1, 2, then I add 1, 0 right there. Ooh, man, 120. Fantastic. Then, okay, I'm going to try this one, that monstrous question. Ooh, what is the half of 4? That's right. 2, half of 0, 0, half of 8, that's 4. What is the half of 6, 3, then I add 1, 0 right there. That means, oh, I can put here a thousand. So 20,430. That's it. Wow, so easy, right? Okay, I tell you why. So, okay, let's try 6 times 5. Mm -hmm. Then, instead of 5, okay, I can use the different number for 5. Oh, just like this. Okay, 6 times 5 means 10 divided by 2. Ooh, 10 over 2. That's it. So now, okay, that's why I can cut this one in half, which is 6 divided by 2. That's a half, which is 3. Oh, then times 10. That's why. 30. That's it. So, okay, what is the half of 6? That's right. That's 3. Then I add 1, 0. Oh, that's right. Exactly right. Then let's try this. How about 876 times 5? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so the half of 8? That's 4? Uh-huh. That's easy. But what about 7? Woo, that's the odd number. So I can borrow this one. Okay, so take one out, then automatically 6. Okay, 6. What is the half of 6? Then 3. Then, okay, I save this one. That means 10, So which is 16 here. See, look at this one. So 16. So 16 divided by 2, which is the half of 16, 8. Then 1, 0. Oh, that's why the answer is 4,380. Great. What about this? Oh, you know what? Okay, this one is easy because, okay, 1, 3, that means 13. So, okay, I can save 1 here. That means automatically this one is a 12. Okay, what is the half of 12? 6. Okay, then 1, 3. 0, then it's 10, divided by 2, which is a 5. Okay, then 1, 0. That's it. Okay, that's one way, right? What about this time? Okay, so let's try something a little different way. Okay, so now, what about 13 times 5? Ooh. Then, this one's not an even number. So, oh, that's right. We're going to use the different technique. Okay, in this case, we're going to add 0 first. Okay, then divide by 2. See? So, just to change the sequence, that's it. 
Okay, let's do it. Okay, I add one zero right here. Okay, just like this. Then half, that's it. Okay, what is the half of this one? Which is, okay, 12 divided by, okay, I save one here. Okay, 12 divided by two, which is six. Then 10 divided by two, five. That's it. Okay, I added zero already. That's why I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so 65. Oh, that's right. That means 13 times 5 is 65. Ooh, fantastic. Okay, quickly one more. Okay, how about 18 times 5? <laughs> so, in this case, we got to use that technique, okay? So, what is the half of 18? Oh, quickly. Oh, that's 9. Then I add 1, 0. 90. That's why 18 times 5 is 90. That's right. 